here we are, our very first recording for our new channel. And that is Shannon, and I'm Phil. Yep. And we are playing The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. The Wind Waker. An oldie but a goodie. Hard to believe this game came out all the way back in 2002. It feels like so long ago. Wow. I was only a sophomore in high school. I think I was still in middle school. Yeah, 2002 I was... To, to think, in like two years, this game will be officially considered like a classic game. When was I in 2002? 15? Hmm? 15. I was 15. Yeah, I don't remember how old I was. Probably 10 or 11. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe 13. I don't know. By the way, we got a flying boat here. We got... I was born like, in 91. You were 12. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> anyway, so... Starting, I'm gonna call this guy Donkus. Donkus. Because why that's the fuck not, right? That's for Donkus. Hmm? That's for Donkulus. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just like to make up like random shit. <laughs> this is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Where a golden power lay hidden, the power of the Cool Ranch Doritos. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. If I could walk into my house and just have this song going 24 7, I'd be very happy. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and ate them all for himself. He ate all the Doritos of power. <laughs> That's yeah, strength like in his like command. A up there. <clears throat> yeah, it kind of does. But when all of it died in the hours of doom, see that hand. A young boy dressed in guacamole appeared as if from nowhere. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <clears throat> ah. Feeling the blame of evil's bit blade, evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. Mm -hmm. That is a weird looking horse. It is. Mm -hmm. Travel through time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. Oh, but I see you looming in the distance. There's an ether clouds. Dark clouds. Mm -hmm. Which always signifies an ominous presence. Ganon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the great evil that all had thought been forever sealed away by the hero rose up to reclaim the Doritos of power. The people believed the hero time would come to save them, so they prayed to the Doritos for help. He did not. For he was off doing, I don't know what. Oh yes, that's right. Zelda sent him back in time to live out his childhood days, and this is like the timeline after Adult Link goes back, so he's no longer no longer exists in that timeline. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Timelines are confusing. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. Then who the hell is telling this story? Memory of the kingdom vanished, but the legend survived on the wind's breath. I was started out, it became customary to guard boys and guacamole as they, when they came of age. I don't know why I keep bringing up the guacamole. <laughs> that I thought was just hilarious. It's like, you know those machetes that the Bacoblins build in this game? Yeah. Link's uh, sword that he gets from, like, Old Man Orca looks 
like a freaking toothpick compared to those machetes. Yeah, it does. Like, you'll, you'll see in, in a moment when we get to, like, Dragon Roost. Yeah. Ooh, it's a pretty island. Outset Island. Neat. So windy. So much birds. And there's our favorite little cinnamon roll, Errol. Hey, brother! Get away from me, girls. Party too hard and fell asleep at the lookout tower again. Probably. <laughs> yep, there he is, passed out. Too much whiskey. <laughs> Got that hangover gotcha. headache. She's like, gotcha! <laughs> that was there. Is that you, Earl? I need some tile at all, like yesterday. Just envision him sleeping and her getting a big cock shell blown in his face to wake him up. <laughs> God. Uh, Errol's lookout. No, do you remember what day it is today? What the fuck are you talking about? You're still half asleep, are you? If I have asleep, I mean half drunk. Did you forget? It's your birthday, Donkus! Oh shit, it is? Too much pregame. <laughs> That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. She's not getting any younger, you know. Yeah, she ain't got nothing better to do. Eh. Well, you're not wrong. I mean, not, none of the NPCs really do anything when you're not there. Yeah. Good thing I came to find you. You should probably go see what Grandma wants, don't you think? And hurry! Before the girls come and pick your eyes out. Oh god, they're already coming! Ah, ah. Ouch. I broke my ankles. Grandma! Hey, brother, you're already running! How are you broke my ankles broken? I don't know! <laughs> A wild pig! Ah, uh, yes. Ready to grab it? Blah, 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 blah. I know how to do the crouch thing, dude. Come on, shut up. Shut up. There's that pig. There he is. I see him. I hear you, delicious lump of bacon. I got a pile of bacon. I'ma run, run, run with it. Do I do? I gotta give this pig to his wife. Who coincidentally also looks like a pig. <laughs> hey lady, here's a pig. It looks like you. I'm get you more pigs. A sister from another mother. <laughs> Responding. Mm -hmm. Got it. I got a piggy. I like how he's just like holding it upside down. <laughs> Yuck! He throws it in. Hey, so look, hot. triplets. Shh. She's expecting one more. Yep. Take it. Quadruplets. <clears throat> so push. What? So push. Push, what? Yeah, she's expecting one more pig. Ah. Um, push. That makes it sound like she's giving birth to them. I know, it's the joke. Got it. He's got speckles. 
You know, I'm sad to say, I'm sorry that I'm giving these pigs to the to that family because of their two of them are gonna be eaten. Yeah, big pork dinner. Probably. Black beans. And I rice. I don't I only say that because uh, <laughs> when we come back way later, there's only the big the big black pig and he's super fat, and these two are nowhere in sight. Maybe she fed it to him. There you go. It's like a family reunion. So, yes, I brought you some pigs. I thought you could use some company. It's called, it's called walking. Hmm? It's called walking. <laughs> hmm. Something you don't do. Hmm. She's walking around a little, just not a lot. <laughs> Rupees. No father name and them. I know the f I know the fate of two of them. So I'm gonna break into your house through the roof. Up on the roof. Because I can. Smack dab in the middle of the night. <laughs> and I'm gonna break all your shits. That I can't use a sword and I can't use a sword yet. No. I mean, I could have done this after getting the sword, but I didn't want to. Yeah. Do good yeah. stuff when we get the sword. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can't seem to clear my throat today. It's like bugging me. Mm. It's annoying. Yeah. I actually started playing spirit tracks again to. Kind of have have some fun with it, you know. Oh, nice. Spirit tracks. Uh, yeah, it's the direct sequel of Phantom Hourglass and mm. uh, Wind Waker, believe it or not. Oh. Like it takes place a hundred years after the events of Phantom Hourglass, and Phantom Hourglass, Phantom Hourglass takes place like I don't know about a about a month or two after after um, Wind Waker. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like you. No. You freak me out. No, stay away. Just stand six feet away. Will you? I don't like. I don't like that he always has that drip of snot hanging from his nose. It's gross. <laughs> I don't like it. Potted. Got anything for me? Perhaps um, a little bag of something. short she is. She just got that little smile. Yeah, it's like it's like one of those one of those few instances where you see see Link with like literal family, you know? Yeah, it's not too often. Yeah, it's like Twilight Princess, like look, look how disappointed he is. He's like, that's all I get. Looks like a kid who opened a flashlight on Christmas morning. <laughs> Yeah, like in Twilight Princess, he didn't really have like any family. He had neighbors, but not actual like blood relatives. The same in uh, you know Majora's in um, Ocarina of Time. It, he just he was just growing up in a tree. There was mention of his mother in that game, but uh, no one. But she died. Yeah, I never met his mom or dad. In Ocarina of Time, no. Let's see. What if they'll do eventually where Link's old? Like with a big beard. That'd be cool. There have been like people drawing fan art um, of Link like that with the uh, with the with the bushy beard and all that. Yeah. I suppose Orca is the only one that I learned who still knows anything about swordplay. These make, are highlighted for reasons. I'll have to make Link as some rugged looking adult. 
Yeah, there have been many fan art images of that. Shield. Oh dear god, you look like Pizza Pan. <laughs> I'd like to see a adult Link. Like, grown uh, old Link. Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I love that the most overpowered potion in this game is Grandma's homemade soup. But on the other hand, they never made Mario old. Mario hasn't aged. Even though he's probably like 60-something years old at this point. Yeah, you gotta get that guy a big gray mustache now. Okay, seriously, one thing I've always, I keep wondering to myself is, although I like the little family photos here, but where the, how the fuck does, where does Grandma sleep? I mean, I assume Link and Arrow sleep on this little bed here, because because there's two pillows. But then how does Grandma get up here, because there's no freaking ladder? It's probably the opposite. Link probably, they, they can jump. Link probably jumps up there. Yep, there's still no ladder. I mean, even if Link ends up sleeping in the top bunk and Grandma and Arrow sleep here, how does Link get up here if there's no ladder? Probably just boost jump. Just, yeah. Can't boost jump. There's no jump button. Probably stands on it. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Yeah, we don't see it. So. Let's see. Before I go, before we progress, I'm going to give myself a better birthday present. Upskirt shots. Thank God they gave Link, like, the little white tights. <laughs> Could this be? Grandma's life savings! Hundred bucks. <laughs> yep, hundred rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> okay, before we go on any further, I also want to pick up that bait bag so I can, you know, fill in the map and, uh, make and bend the goals to my will. Beatles Shop Ship. I think this is the first game Beetle ever premiered in. And he's been in so many others ever since. And you know what he said? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh. God. I don't understand why he's so popular. Like, ever since Wind Waker, he has appeared in games like Skyward Sword. He's been in Phantom Hourglass, uh, Spirit Tracks. Uh, he's even in Breath of the Wild. I don't understand how he got to be so popular. He's in Zor's Domain. Hmm? Zor's Domain. What do you mean? He's in Zor's Domain in Breath of the Wild. He's got a shop in Zor's Domain. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. He's a traveling merchant. He's around the stables. Oh. Huh. Remember? I remember I sold something in Zor's Domain. You might think of like the general store that they have there. Beetle's a traveling merchant. He only ever appears around the uh, around the horse stables. Ah, uh, that's right. One point saved up. I love the. I I do find it hilarious though that like his prizes for earning like membership points or whatever are absolute garbage. Yeah. Like, one of them is a, a freaking compliment card, and you basically pay him a compliment. And I'm like, what utter nonsense is this? <laughs> Get some bait. Thank you! Let's see. We'll get one more round of all-purpose bait, and then get a couple of uh, Hayoi pairs. Is that how it's pronounced? Basically, these are mind-controlling pairs. These are pairs that control the minds of gulls. Hmm. That's in handy when you need to get some some goodies that are like uh, far off, you know. Mm -hmm. Like some islands will have like heart pieces yeah. that you can get, but you can't but you can't get them yourself. You need the gull. Right. Oh, I got room for one more. Got 12 helpings of baits. Uh, yeah, what the hell, I'll grab one more helping of... Oh, oh, I don't have enough rupees, damn. Screw it, then I'll just get the pair. Pair me! Bye! 
Hmm. Okay. Okay. Before I go any further, I want to use this pair to get some of the goodies that are just kind of lying around on the island. This bird is now my slave. I mean, I'm not wrong. This bird is basically being controlled by me. There's a couple of rupees kind of scattered around here that I can get a hold of. Flap, flap your tiny wings. That's going to be important later. That cave there. There's a green rupee there. I want the rupee. Let's see. So, how about... I missed. I fucking missed. There we go. So, how was the... Uh, how's your day been today, Phil? Oh, pretty good. Just running errands, shopping. That's good. What about yours? Yeah, you know, the usual. Got up, showered, and uh, had to deal with my cat sitting on my chest again. Oh, boy. He always wants, he always does that when he wants me to wake up and feed him. It's getting your attention. <laughs> yeah, the sad thing is that he's already got, is that he'll have already gotten breakfast by the time I get up, because I oversleep a lot. Right, he's telling me. Finagle you for more. Yeah, he's a greedy baby. I think that's it for the goal. Alright, time to go see Errol. Not interested in anything you have to say, old man with the bulbous head. What's the cutoff point for the first video? I want to at least get to the point where we rescue Tatra. Okay. We got our tunic. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, nose pick. Guess I'll put one up every Sunday. Uh, we'll figure out an upload schedule. Okay. Errol, I'm back. Climb, climb, climb. Move faster. I knew it. She's in a gang full of goals. Get out of here, goals! <laughs> oh, why'd you scare my gang away, Pops? Errol, don't talk street. You sound weird. Did Grandma make that out for you? It makes you look like Peter Pan. Yeah, I know. Can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? It's not gonna be something gross, is it? Please don't let this be an octopus again. Happy birthday! I need to close my eyes. Tell us about the horn. You know one of those horns you blow? Uh, I mean, those bike horns? Yeah. No, it's just a telescope. That was in Andy, though, when you're out sailing. Well, do you like it? A special gift. Yeah, I guess for one whole day. Yeah, right. I still remember Grandma saying you only have to wear the outfit for one day. And then yeah, it turned okay. out to be a big fat lie. I see Pothead. Oh, there's the man. There's the postman. Yep, you say you better wait a minute. <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. What? What's up? What's up? Oh shit, it's a giant bird. Wow. Oh man, we gotta roast that giant turkey. Catapult! Fire! Wonder how 
how she managed to survive that fall, because that, that is a big height, even for cartoon physics. It is. I keep asking myself, where did that giant bird disappear to? I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Shut up. I don't like the old man up there. No. His bulbous head freaks me out. This is an old man I want to talk to. Yes, I need a sword. Okay, gotta go through the freaking tutorial again. too often. No. Not really. I thought I should to, I should though. It's a useful counter move. Mm, it is. I gotta wonder how old is Orca? Him? Yeah. I gotta wonder how old is he exactly? I mean he's pretty physically fit for an old man. Seventy five. Mm. Probably. Yeah it's hard to say. Especially, you know, these cartoon graphics. Yeah, it's tough. Let's say about 75. Mm. I got a sword! <laughs> Why are you posing like that? Sword. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is the sword that I said kind of looks like a toothpick compared to the machetes that the Bacoblins use. <laughs> to go save the pirate girl. Let's do it. Petra. She always just called him Nose Pick, and that just kind of stuck with me. Nose Pick, that's classic. So it's like, I don't remember his actual name. I just, I'm, I'm sure it's listed like the Nintendo Gallery, but it's like, I just, I always called him Nose Pick because of that freaking giant ball of snot just hanging from his nose. It's appropriate. Can't not think of that. Right. <laughs> I still wonder what broke this part of the bridge, though. Hmm. Cause there's like a wood panel missing. You find it later? Well, the bridge is gone entirely when you come back later. Uh, ooh. Hanging from a tree. Yeah. It's a wonder her neck, it's a wonder her neck didn't snap from the force of like, you know, the tree branch snagging onto the back of her shirt. Uh, I'm going here. Surprise the shirt didn't work. Mm -hmm. This is a red boopy. And hello. What's this fucker doing here? <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm about to teach him a lesson. Stop mistaking wife for beat you. <laughs> Come here, you. 
to die. Oh, hey, dropped the rupee. That's all he had to his name was a single green rupee. That rock is going to be important for later. Alright. Goblins on birds? Impossible! I remember this was like one of the main scenes right there during like the E3 conference when they revealed this game. Uh -huh. Like the if the the Macabas just like kind of dropping to the ground from the, the birds. It was like a long time ago, but I do remember that. It's like, oh shit, how did I get here? Hey, wait, stop struggling again with the tree branch break! At too late. Oh, she landed harder on her ass. That's gonna hurt for a while. That's a bruised butt right there. Why do you look like Peter Pan? Ah, oh, she's tan. Yeah, well, pir Pirate's Life will give you a good tan, you know? Just oh, yeah. gonzo. You actually see his descendant in Spirit Tracks, believe it, believe it or not. Oh, really? Yeah, his name's Alfonso. Wasn't that nice of it? <laughs> Better pay our debt to that bird in full. What about this boy? Kill him, I don't care. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, it's a kid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is one of those. Yeah, Hi, Big Brother! I'm up here because reasons! Ah, she's so adorable. Oh, crap, this guy again. And here comes the. Ruin the moment. Hey, brother, whatever you do, don't run off the side of the cliff. I'm running off the side of the cliff. What did I just fucking say? That was gonna work. Stupid kid. Why are you so dumb, big brother? Hanging by a moment. Uh, what? You want to come with us on our ship? Screw that. I don't know why. I just always imagine like um, Tetra as being like a tsundere. Mm -hmm. You know, where it's like she, where she like, you know, like, like what a tsundere is. No. It basically, it's um, it's somebody who likes another person, but they're like aggressive, and like they'll be like, it's not like I like you or anything. Mm. It's it's uh, it's hard to explain. They yeah, like them, but they're mean. In other words, kinda, yeah. Just <laughs> diversionary tactics. Look, look at look at Nico over there. He's just like staring off into space. Like I wonder, I wonder if that mountain is made of cheese. <laughs> Quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. The fuck you just say to me, bitch? This girl is getting kidnapped. All girls with long ears. You definitely they all have long ears. Yeah. Because you know they're all highly in descendants. This young Donkus here who saved you from the monsters in the forest. Forsaken Fortress. Under the circumstances, I don't think they are unreasonable for you to give Donkis a little help. Even if I were to consider it, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You never find them a wretched hive of scum and villainy. A cheap little 
sword. Hey, this sword saved your life. and he's still doing the lawn. It's like, I'll never be done with this. It's over. It's all done. It's, all, it's never ending. Let's see. Yeah, in here, he has a treasure chest. I'm robbing him. I just stole your life savings, buddy. <clears throat> Let's see. I remember I got all the bait. I got all the bait stuff I needed, so we're good with that. Now we're gonna go see Grandma. Just not sure how we're gonna explain to her that she got snatched by a giant bird. Roll, roll, roll. If I had, I need some good stuff for the trip. Oh, you're not gonna give me anything? Let's screw off. Grandma, I need the shield. I, I can't tell you. Uh, she's playing with the bird already. It's not the bird you're thinking of. shield. It's over here. I ate it because I thought it was a big cookie. <laughs> like, it, it, admittedly, with that, with, that, with that brown color, it does look a little bit like a gingerbread cookie. Yeah, it does. See? Take it with you. Oh, it looks so sad. One, one thing I love about Wind Laker is like how expressive the characters are, you know? Mm -hmm. There already has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? Who are you again? I tried to do a Grandma has dementia joke. <laughs> kind of fell flat there. Could say another joke, but I don't want to go there. <laughs> mm -hmm. About dementia. Yeah. This dementia is really not that funny. I don't know why I made that damn joke. Okay, so I think, I think that's everything I need from the asylum for now. Uh, All right. We'll be back here until much later, so. Okay. That's a decrepit old shield. Shut up. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, if you actually... Oh, hold on. Mortal Kombat! Gong. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <clears throat> and for all the sales... Alright, once Wave is like, Bye, we'll miss you! And uh, the crab is waving by in the background! <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. Bye. <gasps> Is that? Oh, I forgot My something. grandma? I forgot something. Grandma! Goodbye, Donkus. Come back with my medicine if you get a chance. 
Hi, Grandma! Imagine like Tetra, like suddenly realizes that it's a member of their crew. Yeah. Like back on the, like back on the, I was like, oh shit, we forgot Steve. And then Steve just shouts up, come back. That'd <laughs> <laughs> ah, be hilarious. Okay. Well, I think uh, I think now's a good stopping point. Okay. Okay. So this is a. Uh, Bill and Shannon signing off for now. We shall see you all next time. Have Until a good next one. time, America.